So, hey folks, welcome back. And uh, I thought in this video we would do something a little bit different to what I would usually do in Fallout 76, which is build, or that's usually about what I do when I record videos for 76. And in this video, we're going to do no different. Um, and we're going to learn how to make full, like bunk beds in Fallout 76. It's similar ideas to that of Fallout 4, except it's less easier because there's less glitches in the building aspect. You use like the pillar glitch, the rug glitch properly. Uh, this is actually an idea uh, that I discussed with a few friends, Dragon Ball McQueen and Scorpio this morning. Uh, they were the first two people to actually test out the bunk bed to see if it worked and it looked a little weird when you get out of it but the point of a bunk bed is to sleep in it no one cares how you get out of a bunk bed I mean not unless it's 25 feet in the air uh, you also got a lot of ideas from Phoenix in Brace as well so I'll, I'll put her link in the description below uh, so you will need a flat surface and because this is next to my current build I've laid out all these floors so the first one we have done is very similar to that of kind of a, an office renovation kind of thing. So you've got your filing cabinets, you've got your beds, generic, pretty easy to build. And you'll see why in a minute it takes at most two or three minutes uh, to build. I think it did take about three minutes actually. Um, the, the latter one though, the, the last build is infuriating because it's one aspect you will see. There's a tiny gap between the bed and the filing cabinet there because they didn't rug glitch the filing cabinet in. So this is the more complex build. You may look at it and think what is so complex about this is the backboard. It's not going to be functional, it's primarily going to be decorative reasons. So you can put, you know, posters on it, you can put weapons in it, but the weapons you put on it won't appear on your side, so where you sat down. So uh, we're going to start off with a rug glitch. So make sure you have the wooden uh, shelves and put it on the thick rubber mat. Uh, you'll notice the shelf jumps up. When it jumps up, that is your moment to strike. Place it when it's jumped up because that way your mat can be moved with the uh, item on top of it. This will only work for items that don't snap, if you didn't know. and. Uh, Obviously you can see here that when you are rug glitching it in, you can actually see the rim of the bed come through the shelves, which is quite nice. That is the point I want when I'm thinking, okay, the bed is far enough into the shelving unit to know that it's something what I'm happy with. Uh, I didn't even know we had this cabinet either. So for this cabinet is going to be this main support. The bed on the top is going to be where it's going to like hold its position into uh, so the metal frame is going to either look like it's soldered onto it clipped however you want it to imagine so it could be glued on nail etc uh, again you want to put a bed on a rug uh, you'll notice the leg has to be inside that small black square if it isn't then it will not lift for this rug anyway these are the two rugs I use because they're just much more smaller and you can kind of get away with it a little bit. Uh, so you notice if you have one leg in that little black square of the rug, that corner of the rug will stick out, which is a little bit annoying. There is a, a few loopholes, it's just not to use the rug, uh, but you'll have less reach, uh, meaning you won't get it as far. Uh, so you notice here that with the rug, you can move it forward and backwards. It's a little bit uh, teeter-tottering a, a bit, so you can notice the uh, the leg there is hanging off the end of the shelf. Uh, I do apologise for the audio as well. I don't have my regular setup. Um, I will put a link down to the uh, channel update video as well. So you can you've still got room to kind of update and decorate shelves and such. Um, again, this end of bed somehow acts as a wall service, so you can put clocks onto it. Uh, I just think this clock here makes valid sense because it's a like a box clock. So that's a pretty simple one. The shelves could be used as ladders. Um, you can always add your own twist to it as well. So the second one is much more difficult. Uh, you want to start off with a basic table like such. You can use other tables if you want to. 
Um, and I also decided to keep with the filing cabinet because it's the right height. I think it's the right height for what I want to do with it anyway. Uh, you want to make sure it's level because it's a massive pain in the ass trying to get the backboard on there. Or the weapon rack is what we are using. So you'll notice in a minute you'll see the error cannot be supported. Uh, somehow the filing cabinet has a problem with it. And I don't know why. So uh, you will see me in a minute. I actually do move the table away. Any minute now. So yeah, you'll... Um, there we go. So for this you want to start off with the smaller, uh, the longer weapon racks and then just add them up, add them up from there. Um, now you could have just started with the table, add the weapon racks on and built around it but I'm literally just recording this at 3 o'clock in the morning and editing it so I'm pretty tired. Um, so you want to move everything clear so that way it doesn't collide with anything. Uh, it's two layers of long weapon racks and then two side-by-side -side short ones as well. So again the short one's just going to act as like a pin board so you can put your memos on there etc and then on the other room on the other side could be used as a weapon rack so it depends on what you do this is the only way I thought of having a backboard on there. Again stick to the same premise what we used before is do the rug glitch but this time we use the small little rug so again, make sure your table leg is in that little square. So that way you're getting a little bit of a lip so you can actually move the rug and the bed at the same time. Uh, there we go. So this is a little bit more difficult now since we've already built the shelving unit, not the shelving unit, sorry, the, uh, the backboard uh, weapon rack as per se. So it is a little bit more difficult trying to get it in line. Uh, but so far that looks okay. Uh, you can use a little variety of different variety of different uh, pieces of equipment, storage containers, walls, etc., to make your own. Uh, so if you do make your own, hit me up on Twitter, uh, which is in the, the link in the description, or at Morpheus underscore GI, and I will take a look at it. Uh, for the post box, it's a little bit more difficult with the jumping as well, because it's such a big object and it's uneven. You, you've got to be careful. Uh, you've got to be more vigilant, if it's not the right word. Uh, so you notice here it, it collides, it, it, it goes through the table by like a lip, by like a, a centimetre or so. Not even, just enough though for the, the for the bed legs to, to sink through. So it looks like the bed is hanging on a trash can, which isn't a phrase you'd say often, and a filing cabinet. So. That way it kind of looks like it would be somewhat possible, but eventually after like a couple of months, maybe even a couple of weeks, it will fall through. Uh, I wouldn't really want to stay anywhere for a couple of weeks in this environment. So you can actually, as you see here, just place random things down in that little area as well. And yeah guys, so that's a pretty uh, complex method of making bunk beds. The backboard was the biggest pain in the ass. You don't have to have a backboard there. You can just have it as a regular open barracks. So again, pretty uh, complex. Hope you enjoyed it. If I did something that you didn't think of, or I did something that you thought of and I didn't, whatever, put a comment down and uh, I'll see what I can do in the next one. And if you liked it, put a thumbs up and uh, yeah guys, I'll see you in the next one.